Okay, food is ready to go. Uh, before I eat, I want to kind of go over what the video is supposed to be about. And uh, this is going to be a utensil free meal, so I don't want to do it on camera because it's going to get messy. But uh, anyways, what the video is supposed to be about is my uh, 2017 initiatives. My plan of attack for 2017. So we're two weeks away, so we've got to be prepared. But anyways, basically I've got five things that I'm going to pretty much focus on for 2017. Uh, the number one, okay, just like the first part of this video is more fishing content or the focus on the fishing content. That's what I do, that's what I like, this is what I'm doing it for, so I'm not gonna be doing pranks, I'm not gonna do makeup tutorials, I'm not gonna be doing video game reviews, I'm not gonna do electronics reviews, I'm not gonna do blah, 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 blah. Uh, pretty much it's gonna be more fishing stuff and fishing related stuff, so keep it simple that way. Number two, uh, number two initiative is I want to do kind of a second category or probably make its own little separate uh, entity within the channel, uh, playlist maybe, and that's gonna be, I'm gonna call it um, something like YouTube fishing, um, catching subscribers and views. And what that is, is gonna be kind of the back end side of my channel and the strategy side of how I am building my channel, okay? And I think it'll be geared towards kind of the same way a lot of my videos have fishing tips, how to catch bait, how to use rigs, and how to where to go and stuff. It'll be the same thing, but for those fishing channels in particular that are trying to grow their subscribers, grow more views, okay, kind of utilize the tools that I've used and hopefully will transition to them. Um, my past work history experience is based out of um, list management and direct marketing as well as retail and those are my specialties in the past and what I found out is looking through the YouTube reporting it's exactly the same reporting that uh, I dealt with in the past okay CPMs that kind of thing um, the list management is basically subscriber lists and the values and what kind of income they're producing and so forth so I'm very well actually very well reversed on this and that's why I think I found it a lot easier to grow the channel than probably more people that don't have that experience. So part of it will be involving that, um, the strategies, the tips that I use, basic ones, okay, and the, su the successes and the failures that I've had with those. Um, mainly it'll be just tips and tricks for catching, whether it be fish or subscribers, same thing, but that's what kind of what the... Uh, YouTube uh, fishing catching subs and views will be about. Uh, for example, my next video in that category will probably be about the equipment that I use, um, what cameras I use and so forth. Uh, that's part of the game, so that's what I'm going to invoke and then just kind of add them throughout the, the 2017. Now the third initiative is going to be promoting local businesses. Okay, I have not done any type of promotions on my channel. I've been offered a lot, I've been asked to do a lot, but I've pretty much turned them all down. Um, at the moment, I'm really not interested in doing that kind of stuff with the channel. Um, I do have some stuff that I want to promote and there's specifically some local businesses that I've been associated with in my time here in Key West, specifically to do with fishing, okay? For example, I have a handful of guides fishing guides that I didn't know outside of meeting them at the boat ramp or out on the water. And uh, one thing you have to know about me, I'm not a big social fisherman. I very rarely will go to meet people on the water to go talk to someone on the shore that's fishing. I'm kind of focused on taking care of my stuff. But these guys have gone out of the way to say hello and let me know where the bait is, let me know what the bite is, what lures are working, uh, as far as giving me lures to, that are, are being effective at the moment and, and so forth, so valuable information. And again, not with me going out and asking, oh, where's this, what's that? It's these guys just being very cool and friendly and, and just sociable and just uh, helping a guy out that just, I'm not even on one, a boat or anything, I'm on a kayak, so it's not even one of those deals where a lot of guys can be kind of pricks about it, but these guys have 
got out of the way to say hi and be very cool and collective. And you'll be surprised that we're talking some big mainstream, uh, old school, professional, uh, on TV show guys that have done that. And then those are, I know it's just a little bit of an angle, but those are the guys that I kind of want to do a, just like a quick promotion on my channel, throw some business their way. Um, you have to kind of understand is I do a lot of these tips and, and, and strategies and fishing stuff and where I fish and hot spots and so forth. And you don't find that a lot in the Keys. Um, part of it is, yeah, that's the locals only mentality. A lot of it is it's a business professional secrets. And a lot of it has to do with there's not a big social media presence on the people that are down here. So what I do with all that information can be can be detrimental in regards to I'm sure that there's some guys that were coming down that have usually maybe hired a guide in the past but have watched my channel and, and started saying hey if this guy on a kayak can do this I can do that on a boat and maybe they come down and just rent a boat or bring their boat from home and bypass the guide or so forth and just do it on their own. So to kind of offset that, those things that happen is maybe I throw some uh, business their way to the, uh, the guys that kind of offset that kind of stuff. I've had zero issues with any guides ever giving me any crap about uh, uh, giving away any tips or secrets and stuff. So it's nothing to do with that. But these, these guys that I want to do it with have gone above and beyond and I really want to pay that back. Um, as well, I have a same thing. I have a couple of shops that I utilize, so I kind of want to do the same thing for them. Um, and then it's a two-way street. For me, I get experience on doing that, um, utilizing the camera more than just the GoPro, watching me reel on a fish, um, having to do with the, the better equipment, the different types of cameras, the different layouts, setups, lighting, all that other stuff. So, And that keeps things interesting for me, so there's always a two, two double reasons for it. Um, the fourth thing that I want to do is to uh, do something kind of different and it'll be not so fishing related but to help people get down here to fish which is doing the keys cheaply on the cheap okay maybe um, from finding a place where you can drive down in your car sleep in your back of your trunk and find a place where you can hide out and not have to get a hotel or motel or whatnot or where you can come in and get some cheap really good Cuban food on the cheap um, where you can buy groceries where you can get gas where you can, basically just how you can maybe come down experience the keys but not spend two hundred three hundred four hundred thousand dollars a night on a room or eight to thousand dollars on a professional guide to go fishing or ten dollars twenty dollars a drink for uh, on uh, Duval Street uh, where you can go to get a locals only type of areas where it's not all uh, tourist inflated prices so something like that um, probably not going to focus on it a lot but um, I'm a ex backpacker travel the world on the cheap so I'm pretty well versed at that so I'm uh, going to try to implement a little bit of that into the channel and the last thing is basically keep things interesting and that's both for you guys the viewers but also for me to keep interested in doing more YouTube stuff I get bored don't want to do it anymore channel dies I go do something else um, so the more I keep things interesting the longevity of this this channel and the stuff that I'm doing will last that much longer so and the more interesting I keep it the more viewers I get more subscribers I get and and it's a two-way street so but anyways those are the five things okay that's my 2017 focus I think it's very very important as a business strategy that you have your priority sets with the things you're gonna focus on and try to stick to those um, and I guess that's about it I've got all this food so I'm gonna eat that and I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys and thanks for watching